<laughs> and this is the screenplay breakdown. You the lawyer? Yes, ma'am. My name is Brian Stevenson. You know, I, I love this scene because I thought I was just going to meet one or two people in real life. And when I got there, it was like so many people. I mean, when you first rolled up to the house, was it a little bit intimidating? It was. And I think Michael sort of captured the surprise of being in a space where people are so desperate that they all come out just to meet you. I hope you don't mind a few of our neighbors stop by to hear what you got to say. Oh, just a few? <laughs> come on, you'll be all right. Okay. We've worked on the script for the past five years, so I, we've got it to a place that we felt really comfortable and confident about these legal arguments. You know, there's you know there's transcripts of them. You know, so there there wasn't a lot of ad libbing in this one, honestly, which was a different muscle for me. And yeah, so we were pretty we were pretty spot on. Thank you. Um, now I know you all have a lot of questions. But I really would love to hear from you guys first, just to get a better understanding of your perspective on things. Our perspective is, ain't no way Johnny D did this crime. One of the, the amazing things about Brian is that he was actively working on a lot of cases at the same time. He would go to come to set, then fly, and go straight to the Supreme Court, and then leave there and come back to set. So that really put a perspective on, you know, how hard he actually works. You know, when you play roles, you're dealing with a fictional character. You know, in, in my case, to have somebody that I could actually reach out to was, was extremely helpful. But then also, it was an added weight, a little bit of pressure there because he is an amazing person and uh, he does such important work. I think that was really uh, on my back a little bit, just not wanting to f it up. I wanted to make him proud. 15, if his truck ain't got no transmission. Hello. How many of you all were with Walter that morning? 